is Quan and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, what we're going to be doing, we're starting the weekend off. Today's Friday, um, April 21st. I am officially clocking out right now. Um, but what I'm about to do is I am about to go in and get my feet done. Also, I do have to run to Target to get some stuff. Um, I do want to reorganize my desk, so I am going to look at that. I will take y'all along on that. I'm also going to take y'all along on me getting my feet done as well. Why not? Um, after that, I am going to come back so we can start making the little cute 2.5 um, Aurora. I think these are what they're called. I'll leave the link in the description below. I do want to make these. Also, I do have to restock on my 8 ounce um, strawberry cheesecake. I did sell out of those, so I do have to go and remake those. So why not test the candles as well? But I did want to come on because I have been forgetting to do an intro for you all on my video. And I do want to welcome you all to my channel. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. Um, comment below some things that y'all would like to see. Um, and just leave some love and some support. Again, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe and comment, like the video. And yeah, let me go ahead and get my feet done. <laughs> science i didn't get anything but some fragrance oil and some wig tabs which i've already put up um i did get the let me get some in for y'all i did get the beach wood 16 ounce from candle science as well as i got the cucumber water milk water Hold on, what is that? Cucumber and watermelon. No, cucumber and cucumber, water and melon. That's what it say, y'all. That's what I say. So this was the free sample that I got from Candle Science. It does have a bad shadow, but this is what I got for the sample. And I got their wig tabs. I'll show y'all those later. Now, the most exciting thing is these boxes that I got. As y'all can already see, I was testing out the vessels in these boxes. I was testing out the vessels in these boxes. These are their 2.5 um, mini vessel, Aurora vessels. I got these about two weeks ago. I ordered 12 of them. Um, yeah, I ordered 12 of them for a Mexi. This is how they came. I took three out because I wanted to see what they looked like, of course. Um, but this is what, no, well, no. These are three extras that I ordered. I'm sorry. I ordered 12 and three extras. So these are the 12. This is how the 12 comes packed. I have not done anything with these. Um, the three are just three that I am playing around with. Um, those are going to be my testers. So this is how these come. I really do like those. These right here I do like. Only thing that I do not really like is the color. I don't know if y'all can see, but let me see. But this is like a y'all can't tell on camera. It's like a yellowish, like a yellowish color, and I really don't like that. So I'm going to, that's the point of me ordering these to see if I'm going to like them. I'm just doing this because I want to sell like a gift set or something like that. So I'm trying to come up with ideas for these. Also, I'm going to be using these mini um, 
mini vessels to replace my tins that I currently have for my sample pack so I wanted to change them um, they do go with everything I don't like how they burn um, when I tested them um, not even tested them I've tested them before but just after them sitting um, I do like to get a after I say like a month of everything sitting I do like to test them this is one burn I could probably burn it again I am going to burn this one again y'all can't see that so I am thinking about burning this again so that I can see if I'm going how far to the edge is going to get as y'all can see with the first burn it did go almost edge to edge but there's a lot of wax still around the seam of the candle and I don't like that so that's why I'm changing these one is a waste of my money and two I don't want to give my customers something where they don't get many uses out of what's the point of that so I am going to be replacing these with these which I think it's going to be great I just have to figure out how I'm going to label them and then also I have to figure out how I'm going to put a warning label on them if anybody has any suggestions please put it in the comment below and let me know a size warning label or how I should put them because I do want to sell them as individuals I don't want to just sell them in a um, in a pack as I say as well I do want to sell them as my sample pack but I don't I want to also offer if someone just wants to sample one scent and not all of them. Um, so if you all have any suggestions for that, please most definitely leave a comment below and let me know what I can do. I know I was thinking if I do sell them in this um, in a package like this, I can put, you know, my name, you know, branding and all of that. And I can put a warning label or something like that on the bottom of the box. That's what I was thinking for that. As far as with selling everything. Um, and then with, um, after buying these, I bought four of them. Just because it made my order over $100. If you know, you get free shipping after $100. With Mexi. This is just my to-do list. Um, I also bought some more coconut virgin coconut soy wax I bought this it was currently not currently now it is over but Maxi was having a sale where they were giving 20% off of all of their wax and so this is the wax that I absolutely fell in love with um, after testing so many times um, I fell in love with the virgin coconut soy wax I did test out the satin soy wax I am thinking about doing a video on the slight differences of the two there's not many differences just a little bit so I do want to you know show people or um, give that information to what the little bit is I am still working on doing that video so make sure y'all stay tuned subscribe so you can be notified and also hit the post, notific post notification bell so that you can be notified when that video does eventually drops but this is everything that I got from Maxi and also Candle Science. So I went to Michael's and I found these little boxes here. Zoom you out. I found these little boxes here from Michael's. I know you can get them from Uline, but I wanted to test them out first to make sure they do fit my candle. This is the 8.8 .8 ounces, not eight nothing. But these are the 8 ounce vessels that I do currently have for my um, double wick candle. And I was testing them for them because my 11 ounce will not fit in here. I do have to find a box for those. I'm currently looking for those as well. Um, but with the bubble wrap and I would still put like a few packing peanuts on the edge. I want to use these and it will be able to do more of my branding for my packaging um as y'all know i like to put my thank you sticker on sticker i like to put my thank you stamp on the top i will have to show y'all that one day i don't think i've showed y'all that but i do like to put my thank you stamp on the top of my lid so i can also put it on my lid but also when they open um i want this stamp to be here as well but i may put like 
love and then my logo stamp underneath since it is it's like oh it's like them opening a gift for me so that is the idea of those I'll show y'all what not to do so i was like oh i only have so little fragrance whatever or fragrance oil and wax to mix together so i should try this freaking frother bad idea frother the foamer whatever it's called is for your coffee but i was like oh it's gonna be faster for me to mix my wax and fragrance oils together in my two minutes but not thinking that it's going to go really really fast and this is the first pour as y'all see it is so many bubbles because i actually whip bubbles in my wax so i'm no for fact this one is going to have to be um heat gun i'm gonna have the heat gun touch that up i'm just waiting for it to get hard so i can touch that up um also this one i am going to do i don't know if y'all can see but there are bubbles like on the side there right up under my finger there are some bubbles there um this one it does have bubbles but not as many this was the last one that i poured um but it does have bubbles on the top so i am going to heat gun that one as well but i just wanted to let y'all know um yeah don't do that i don't i don't know why i did that that wasn't smart at all at all so i'm gonna go ahead and sit these to the side so i can lay out everything for my wax melts and get started on that it is going to be a long process okay y'all so i'm all set up for my wax melts this is the wax that i use getting from candle science the eco soya pb pillar soy wax i absolutely love this especially because i am i'm showing y'all what the what they suggest they want you to heat it to 185 um let me focus for y'all heat it to 185 if you you know six percent fragrance low pour it at 160 i like this wax because i use these molds and with these molds it works better um they do come out harder i don't have to worry about the heat from my hands and melting them um or anything like that so I absolutely love this wax. You can most definitely try it out. Don't mind the Office Depot bag. This, the wax bag has a hole in it. So I had to find something to catch my pellets. Yes, I need all my wax. But I wanted to show y'all what wax I use. I'm currently about to turn on my, turn my Presto Pot back on. So I can go ahead and pour these wax melts. Um, the first set I'm going to be doing is clean cotton. I'm not going to be doing many of them. So it's just going to be this first pour. Each tin is going to have 10 flowers. <clears throat> and I want to think, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, so with each one, I'll get two tins out of each one. So that'll be perfect. I'm just going to be, so I can see how they're going to sell. I'm going to put them on, on my website. I also have a pop-up shop that I'm preparing for in June. I'm going to be doing a video on that as well as far as like restocking. As y'all see, I do still have quite a bit of inventory as far as my 11 ounces. I do have to get my sea breeze um, restocked. And also as far as my 8 ounces, I have to get my strawberry cheesecake restocked. Everything else is pretty much in stock. Um, I am going to make a few like extra strawberry cheesecake because that is something that is popular but i'm not sure i am gonna just go through and see everything that i have what i need to make more of um for that so i'm just preparing for that i'm going to test the wax melts on my website also going to be taking them to the pop-up shop as well just not going to have that many but i am going to be doing a basically get ready with me um pop up for my pop up or whatever i don't know what it's going to be called but i'm going to be filming the process of how i am going to be getting ready so yeah let me go ahead and turn on my presto pot for this wax i put it on warm like almost on the m in between the m and the 200 um and that's just because don't mind the dust on that and that's just because um, this wax does melt at a lower temperature than the virgin coconut soy that I use for my candles. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let that melt down everything. I have everything set up. I just have to measure out my fragrance oil so we can get everything poured up. But I'm going to go ahead and pop my camera back on the charger. I just wanted to show y'all the wax that I use for my wax melts. Okay, y'all, so I have made the wax melts. Again, this is the clean cotton. Um, three of the tart melts, I had some extra wax. So I just put it in there. I'm going to probably use them for samples. But um, these are the three tart um, clamshells that I made. And then these are the molds that I made. I just have to let them set up. I do try to let them sit for at least 24 hours in the mold. That's why I've been hesitating to make wax melts. I do need to buy some more molds. But as I told y'all in the last clip, they're $9. So I have to do what I have to do. I have to make at least a wax melt a day. So by tomorrow, I'll be taking these out and making some more. Going to the next scent. Um, and then I also wanted to test out this mold here. That's why I had more wax than I was supposed to. Um, but as you see, I messed up two of them or quite a few of them. But I want to see how they're going to look in my tins. Um, as well because I may go with this this option um, it is a quicker option and then also well I don't know because I only have one of these molds I have five of these molds so I don't know and I really like how the roses look with my um, branding and everything and then I already see how I want to take the pictures of them and all of that so it's probably just going to be these I'm probably going to make the, the hearts as samples to put in orders and stuff like that because I don't want to keep giving away my mini tins in every single order um so I don't want to do that so I am going to just make the heart wax melts of each one package them up really cute and put samples and the name of the fragrance that they are um, again, with the molds for this one, they do have to stay in there for 24 hours as well. Um, I am going to try to get like a razor or something to cut off the extra wax. Once they harden, that's why I try to let them sit for 24 hours. That's the same with these. They are going to have um, some edges on them from them being like poured over on the sides and stuff. So I am going to have to do that as well as when they, when I snap them in the middle, they are going to have like an extra little piece. So I do have to shape that up. Um, again, that's why I have to let them sit for 24 hours. I will show you all the process of how I clean them up and everything once I take them out of the mold. Um, again, and these are just the basic clamshells that I have because people do just like still like the basic clamshells. I am looking into getting the snap bars because I kind of like those better than the clamshells. Um, I may have the snap bars by the time I go to my market in June. But again, just make sure y'all stay tuned for that video. I'll show y'all everything that we're going to be taking for that trip. I'll also show y'all the setup of how everything is. And of course, I'm going to take y'all with the pop to the pop-up with me as well. But until that time gets here, this is what we're doing. Stocking up some wax milk um, and just touching up some things that I need to do for my business. Um, so we're just basically this week going behind the, the scenes, restocking and different stuff like that. So yeah, let me let these get hard. Um, I did go ahead and unplug my Presto Pot because again, I only can really technically make one set at a time. Um, so I won't start back on my Presto Pot until tomorrow, unfortunately. But I think everything is going to work out. Um, I do know what, how many I'm pouring. It's going to fill up the, again, it's going to be 10 per 10. So I'm going to have 10 wax melts in each mini tin. Um, so, and again, there's 10 rolls on each. I have five, so that'll be <clears throat> perfect for um, my wax melts. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up so I can let these dry. Okay, y'all, so I am currently testing for the wick of these 2.5 vessels 
Sorry if the light is bad. As y'all can see, wax ran down my labels, but I can still see what they are. I do currently have them in order of which ones I think is going to perform the best. I am going to do a harsh burn, meaning it's going to burn over four hours so I can see about any mushrooming, any um, soot smoke that's going to be left on the edge of these. So right now it is currently 3.30, well 3.28, but we're going to say 3.30. Um, currently 3.30, so about maybe about 8 about 8 8 30 i will um show y'all what they look like again i think the cotton wick 70 from mixy is going to be better which is that's what they recommend for these also um, i think the cd4 is going to come in a slight second it can almost be first as well so i think these two the week 70 and the cd4 are going to be neck and neck the cd6 i think is going to be a little bit too big based on the flames of all of these they are neither one of them are dancing there is no flickering i don't see any smoke or anything coming from them um give you all a little bit closer look so this is again the CD6. No dancing, no nothing, so I don't know y'all. It is um, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it does almost have an edge to edge. The puddle, the wax puddle is a little bit bigger then as y'all can see here the cd4 and then the cotton wick 70 can't really see it i wish y'all could but i do i can't tell y'all that the cd i'm sorry yeah the cd6 is the wax puddle is a little bit bigger than the 70 and the CD4 and then this one so I don't know we're going to see but this is what we have so far Y'all let me know in the comments below which one y'all think is going to be the better one. I'm going to let y'all see all of them again. Again, neither one of them is dancing, no soot or anything like that. Um, so again, let me know in the comments which one y'all think is going to be the best. Me, personally, I think the... I really want to say the CD4 now that I'm looking at it burn. The Wix 70 is burning a little bit faster than the CD4. So I'm going to say the CD4 is going to be the wick that I go with. But I'm not sure. Y'all just let me know in the comments below what y'all think. And yeah, I'll show y'all what they look like in about, we'll give it three hours. So at 6.30, I'll check back in with y'all. Okay, y'all, so I have burnt it. This is the second time on burning. So this is my second burn test. Just started. I didn't give y'all an update yesterday after blowing the candles out. Um, now, I do know the CD6 I'm not going to use. If y'all can see, this is, what, this is how much wax is left after the first burn yesterday in the CD6. And it burnt for about, I'll say about six hours. And this is how much is left um, compared to the CD4, which is not too much more than the CD6, but it is more. And then the Cotton Wick 70, much more in it. They all burnt for the same amount of time. I blew them out at the same time. Um, so it looks like I'm going to either go with the Wick 70 or the CD4. Um, I have the CD6 burning just because why not finish out burning the candle out. 
um but so far it is down between these two if you remember when i started my wig testing i put them in the order of the ones that i thought was going to work as you see i did think the 70 was going to be better than the cd4 and i did know that the cd6 was going to be a little bit too big which it is um there wasn't much mushrooming on either of the wicks but there was some um, on the cd6 a little bit on the cd4 um, and none on the 70. Also, another good thing that I did like about all of these wicks, um, as they kept burning, the more, especially because I was doing the harsh burn, they were curling up more. So for the self ignition, self ignition. <laughs> so they put their self out kind of. I don't know. I don't know that word. Um, but they were doing perfect for that um after i blew them out i did not have much soot or anything as you can see there is no soot on either of the vessels even with the cd6 burning faster than either of these there is no soot on either of them so we're going to continue to burn these um it is currently 145 so i am going to burn them until about 745 so it's about five hours. I'm going to do another five hours on them, another harsh burn, um, just so I can see. And again, the it's going to be between the CD4 or the 70. I'm pushing for the 70, but I'm not sure. I like the CD4 too, but I'm thinking the 70 because, again, if you look at how much wax is left, the 70 is winning. After five hours of burn... I don't know well yeah the 70 is winning after that and then also I just started these the CD4 is almost at a full pool the CD6 is almost at a full pool and then the 70 we are not almost we are just burning out of the middle you can't really see it so it's just burning out of the middle let me tone it down a little bit for y'all so as y'all see it's just burning the middle this one is almost full this one is almost edge to edge as well it's only been burning for quite some not that much time and also keep in mind this where the wax is now especially for the cd6 is perfect you always i like to do a full candle that's just because i pour a full candle all the time but in reality when you are test burning a candle the stage that each one of these candles are in now that the flame is more inside of the vessel than you're being able to see over the vessel um versus well where it is now versus a full flame a full candle you'll be able to see how fast it's going to burn because again that heat is going to be more trapped in the vessel than being released if it's a full of full of candle so um yeah i am liking where we are now so i'll come back in about in about two hours so at 3 45 i'll be back show y'all where they are so we can decide our final thoughts maybe on i should know about the two hour mark exactly which one i want to do and i'm thinking the 70 but looking at it now, it looks like the CD4 is a little bit more fuller than the 70, but that's not true. As y'all can see, let's turn it down a little bit more. So as y'all can see, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Let me see. Let me turn them back to back so we can compare so really and truly they are about the same amount of wax left the cd4 looks a little bit fuller than this um 70 but i don't know y'all let me know below what y'all think um and we're gonna come back in two hours so see you then